Hallelujah. Someone said for an encounter, give the Lord a shout of praise. We know you are blessed from the day one. With testimonies, for those at the global headquarters, go to the success entrance. Pastors and officials are there to document your testimonies. You are online. Please follow instructions on your screen. The book of 2 Corinthians 3 verse 17, it says, Now the Lord is that spirit, and when the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. You lift your voice and appreciate God for his sent words coming our way, for his spirit that will move in our midst, that will bring about liberty and take ad- vengeance against our adversaries. Lift your voice and appreciate him. In the mighty name of Jesus, to the Lord be all the glory and the praise, Lord, we say thank you for your forcible sense word that is coming through your servant today. That will be a blessing to each and everyone present today. Lord, we give you glory and praise. We thank you, Lord, for the understanding of your word that will better about miracles, signs, and wonders in our midst. We say thank you, Lord, for your move of your spirit in our midst that will guarantee liberty in every area of our lives. We thank you, Lord, because we know you take vengeance against our adversaries. You will clear them out. We say thank you, Lord, for the all-round peace we will enjoy in today's service to you be all the glory and the praise. We say thank you because we know you go before us to do a marvelous work and even a wonder for all you are set to do today. Lord, we say thank you. Be thou exalted and magnified. Blessed be thy holy name in Jesus' mighty name. I appreciate the Lord is worthy. Hallelujah. Can we lift our hands in worship? Our God is awesome. You deserve the glory. And the honor, Lord, we lift our hands in worship. We bless you, holy name. Lord, you deserve the glory. And the honor, oh God. Lord, we lift our hands in worship. We bless you, holy name, for you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you, no one like you, Lord. For you.
Father, we thank you. We'll give you all the glory. We we'll celebrate your faithfulness. Thank you for accepting our worship and praise in Jesus' precious name. Please kindly be seated. In this session, we'll be going to God in thanksgiving. In Jeremiah chapter 12, verse 2, he said, Thou hast planted them, yea, they have taken root. They grow, yea, they bring forth fruit. You thank God for planting and establishing every so one in all programs and services of salvation ministries that has led to her increased numerical growth. Lift your voice. Lift, stand to your feet, begin to appreciate him. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we'll appreciate you. We we'll thank you for every soul one in all programs and services of salvation ministries. Thank you for establishing them in salvation ministries globally. Lord, we we'll thank you for planting them, leading them to unusual numerical growth of your church salvation ministries. We we'll return back all the glory to you. Blessed be God forever in Jesus' precious name. In Psalm 19, verse 3, he said, There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Isaiah 33, 6, he said, Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time. So we appreciate God for announcing his good works done through David the Biome and sustaining his ministry with uncommon wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Lift your voice and begin to appreciate him. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for making your mighty ass through your son David the Biome to be spread abroad. We thank you for the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding beyond measure that has sustained his ministry. Lord, we say thank Thank you for announcing your good works through your servant David Ibebe globally. We we'll return back all the glory to you. We we'll magnify your name, Jesus. Thank you, precious Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. 
Finally, in 1 Kings chapter 5, verse 4, he said, But now the Lord my God has given me rest on every side, so that this is adversary nor evil or current. You thank God for the peace and rest families connected to salvation ministries are enjoying globally. Lift your voice and begin to appreciate him. <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for granting serenity and calmness to all families connected to salvation ministries globally. We thank you for giving us victory over all battles of life. Thank you for peace we enjoy on daily basis. Blessed be God forever in Jesus' mighty name. Lift your voice and magnify his name. You may please be seated for a moment. This section we're going to God in prayers for the church salvation ministries globally. God's was been in John chapter 12 verse 31. Now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. We will bind and will cast out Satan from instigating any evil in salvation ministries to affect our growth and expansion. You will decree that she will enjoy untampered peace. Stand to your feet. Raise your voice. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God was speaking. Whatsoever will bind you on earth shall be bound in heaven. You said the name of Jesus Christ. We will bind and we cast out the devil from any portion has taken or intent to take to instigate anything called evil and matches attention crisis within and around salvation ministries will bind the devil clear for all your devices all your antics to affect the growth the expansion man that God has given to her the blood of Jesus against you God was speaking there shall no evil before the church salvation ministries neither shall any plague come near dwelling any attempt of yours to cause any form of emergency any form of tension crisis within and around salvation ministries to reduce our numerical growth to reduce expansion of agenda will point the devil we clear you for God's was speaking no way performed against salvation ministries shall prosper any weapon the of hell program against the peace the rest God has given to salvation ministries will point the devil clear for my people shall dwell in a peaceful habitation in short dwellings in quiet resting places will decree salvation ministries will enjoy on Tampa peace this season and beyond in Jesus mighty name in Job chapter 5, verse 12, he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform the enterprise. In Psalm 19, verse 3, there is no speech, no language, where their voice is not heard. We will pray to destroy all devices of Satan to water than the impact of the sowing activities of salvation ministries. You will decree that every sowing activity of the church shall be, shall be her shall be a channel of increase and expansion. Raise your voice. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God was speaking. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that might destroy the works of the devil. We will pray to destroy all devices the devil want to use to water down the revival fire, to water down the impact of the stone activities or salvation ministries we will point the devil clear for the Lord disappointed the device of the crafty so that their hands cannot open enterprise. Every enterprise the of the devil to water down the revival fire, to water down the impact of the stone activities or salvation ministries will bind the devil. We clarify there is no speech, there is no language we are the voice of salvation ministries is not heard, not willing that any should perish, but that all to come to repentance who will praise the living God, continue to announce the church salvation ministries, cause us to enjoy global acceptance, global relevance in the heart of men in the name of Jesus Christ, we decree every stone activity of the church shall be a channel for increase for expansion this year 24 and beyond will decree the voice of salvation ministries will enjoy global acceptance global relevance global dominion globally in jesus mighty name in psalm 24 verse 7 lift your head lift your heads O ye gates and be ye lifted up your everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in Isaiah 60 verse 11 therefore thy gates shall be open continually they shall not be shut day nor night who will pray to subdue all gates of hell resisting the numerical growth the spread and dominion of salvation ministries you command the gates of all nations cities and towns to be open to our always raise your voice pray in the name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ now is the judgment of this world now shall the prince of be cast out who will pray to subdue all gates of hell that want to resist the numerical growth that spread the dominion of salvation ministries this year 24 beyond will bind the devil we clay for lift your heads all your gates be lifted up you have everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in will decree the get of nations the get of cities the get of continents you open to salvation ministries this is not beyond therefore the gates shall be open continually they shall not be shut 
day nor night will decree the gate of nations to continually be open to salvation your ministries, to continue to open to the spread, to the acceptance, to the relevance, to the impact, to the dominion of salvation your ministries across all continents of the world in Jesus' mighty name. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 26 and he will lift up an ensign to the nations from far and will hiss unto them from the end of the earth and behold they shall come with speed swiftly will pray to destroy whatever is resisting people of all races tribes and languages from being attracted to salvation ministries globally you will decree that greater glory be revealed upon her to draw all into her raise of voice pray in the name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we will pray to destroy whatever whoever that want to stand as a stumbling block that want to stand to resist people of all races of all tribes of all languages to be attracted to salvation ministries we will pray to destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ who will possess and exalt itself above all that is called God and the force from the pit of hell that want to resist salvation ministries from being accepted across the nations of the world we will pray to destroy their forces in the mighty name of Jesus Christ God was speaking he will lift up an answer to nature from afar he will hasten to them from the ends of the earth behold they shall come with specifically will decree the name of Jesus Christ salvation ministries will enjoy greater glory and the glory Lord shall be revealed and all flesh all races shall sit together for the mouth of the Lord has spoken in the glory of this later house shall be greater than that of the former will decree greater glory be revealed upon all that have to the salvation ministries all our jingles all our social media advice all the banners all the carries the name salvation ministries will enjoy God's glory in Jesus mighty name in Acts chapter 2 verse 6 and 41 now when this was noised abroad the multitude came together the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls who pray that the great acts of God in salvation ministries be noised abroad by the Holy Ghost thereby drafting abiding multitude of souls into her raise the voice in the name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ who will praise the living God continue to noise the great act of God yeah, in salvation ministries across the nations of the world thereby drafting in influence of abiding multitude into her and it was not abroad that Jesus Christ is in salvation ministries Holy Spirit, living God to pray you are not abroad the great act of God the miracles the signs the notable wonders you continue to do yes yeah, salvation ministries across the nations of the world that will continue to compare multitude to keep flowing to salvation ministries and the same day about 3,000 souls we are added to salvation ministries Lord will pray a minimum of 3,000 souls will be added to her continually great multitude followed her lord will pray announce the great as announce the miracles the notable the signs and wonders you come to rise yes salvation ministries across the nations of the world in jesus mighty name in hebrews chapter 2 verse 4 god also bearing them witness both with signs and wonders and with diverse miracles and gifts of the holy ghost according to his own will will pray for fresh revival fire upon all churches of salvation ministries globally resulting in supernatural church growth massive salvation of souls incredible and notable miracles raise your voice pray in the name of jesus christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and the fire shall never be burned upon the altar it shall never be go out Lord will pray in the name of Jesus Christ for the revival fire to continue to be burning upon all churches and salvation ministries globally resulting in supernatural growth agenda resulting in massive harvest of souls not willing that any should perish but that all to come to repentance and the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men Lord will pray continue to do incredible notable Palpable, tangible signs and wonders in all church of salvation ministries that will continue to draw in influx of multitude to her. Everyone in protest, in hotels, in beer palace, they are not giving their life to Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, not the church salvation is abroad. Compare me to flow to her in Jesus' mighty name. And lastly, for this section, in Revelation chapter 12, verse 11, and overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. We will pray that whatever is programmed as contention against the expansion of salvation ministries be judged and destroyed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Raise your voice, pray in the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and overcame the devil by the blood of the Lamb, by the word of our testimony. We will use to the blood to destroy any force from the pit of hell any eyes don't want to be as a seal of contention against the expansion mandate of salvation ministries the 
Lord of Jesus against you. The Lord of Jesus against you. We dash their words to pieces. It will not stand. Neither shall it come to pass. In Jesus' mighty name. He's a faithful God. I appreciate him. Please be seated for a while. This section will be going to God in prayers for the presiding pastor, David and his entire family. In 1 Kings chapter 5, verse 4, he said, But now the Lord my God has given me rest on every side, so there is neither adversary nor evil occurrence. You will pray against Satan and his agents, planning to launch any evil against David, the Bume, and his family. You decree continuous protection for them. Start your faith, lift up your voice, pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is written, it said, The road of the wicked shall not rest upon the Lord of the righteous, for no weapon from the gates it shall prosper. Every weapon from the pit of hell that get that against the life, that get that against the family, that get that against the ministry of David Ibiome, Satan the devil, when given a place, the blood of Jesus Christ is against the devil, for you permitted to attack him, the enemy shall not exert upon him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him, every device of the devil to afflict the life, to afflict the family, to afflict the military of David Ibiome with the triple military of killing, of stealing, of destruction, the sin of your, the blood of Jesus is against the devil, the blood of Jesus against the world with the great God no peace. In Jesus' mighty name. Revelation 3 and verse 8. I know thy works. Behold, I have stood before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. You will pray against any power resisting the global impact, acceptance, and dominion of David Ibiomi. Command the doors of all nations to be open to him. Lift your voice, pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, it the written, heaven's born, principalities and powers, in many short term, openly, travel over the minutes, to overcome the devil, by the blood of the Lamb, by the blood of Jesus, with brackets, and in power, resisted the global impact, resisted the global status, resisted the global domino of David Ibiome, by the blood, of Jesus Christ with four sword powers, sword forces in the name of the Lord Jesus for a wrestling us against flesh and blood but against principalities and powers by the blood of Jesus that speak up better things than the blood of Abel with four every power of darkness resisting the global impact resisting global acceptance of WWE we cause it now in Jesus' mighty name, John 5 verse 12, he had disappointed that the vices of the crafty to that the hands cannot perform the enterprise. With only anger, pray to destroy every device that is using to hinder multitude from accepting the person and teachings of David Bime across the globe. Lift your voice, pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is written, it disappointed that the vices of the crafty throughout the earth cannot perform the enterprise for this purpose. The Son of God Jesus was made manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil. We pray to destroy, we pray to fostress every device of Satan the devil to hinder multitude from accepting the person from accepting the teachings of David Ibiome across the globe where commander was be destroyed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Every device of the devil to hinder multitude from accepting the person and teachings of David Ibiome across the globe. The blood of Jesus against you. In Jesus mighty name. John chapter 4 and verse 48. Then said Jesus unto him, Except you see signs and wonders, you will not believe. Pray that the gospel of Jesus from David Ibiome be characterized with uncommon signs and wonders, resulting in increased acceptance and followership in all nations and online platforms. Lift your voice, pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is written, it is accepted, it is 
signs and wonders that will not believe. And the Lord walking with David in Pyme and confirming his word with signs following. We pray that the gospel of Jesus from David in Pyme be characterized with the common signs, be characterized with wonders resulting in increase, acceptance, and followership in all nations and all online platforms. There's no speech, no language where the voice of David in Pyme is not heard. No man can do this miracle except the Lord be with him. We pray that the gospel of Jesus from David in Pyme be characterized with the common signs or common wonders resulting in increase, acceptance, and followership in all nations and online platforms. In Jesus' mighty name. Revelation 1 and verse 18. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I'm alive forever one. Amen. I have the keys of hell and of death. Use the blood of Jesus to destroy every channel that I want to pass through to cause death in the life, family, and ministry of David if you may. Lose any of them marked for death and decree long the life for them. Lift your voice, pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is written, it said your covenant with death shall be dishonored, and your agreement with death, it shall not stand, but the blood of Jesus will destroy every channel that I want to pass through to cause death in the life, in the family, and ministry of David Ibiome, we rebuke you, we resist you, we chase you far, it shall not die, but live to declare the words of the Lord, your spirit of death, that get there again, David Ibiome, that get there again, PC Ibiome, that get there again, David Asol, that genuine love was the blood of Jesus, the strong, the spirit of death, as for the also by the blood of the cobras, I have sent forth the prisoners out of the place where there's no water, by the blood of Jesus. We lose anyone genuinely connected to the male family that love is good and advancements that set out as marks for death. Today we establish that liberty by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, Job 32 and verse 8. But there's a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty give them understanding. Ask the Lord to keep releasing great ideas to David Ibiome that will keep him making it relevant in life and ministry globally. Lift your voice, pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is written, it is about the spirit of man and the inspiration of the Almighty, giving them understanding. We ask the Lord to keep releasing great ideas to David Ibiome that will keep making David Ibiome relevant in life, in ministry, wherever it's far. Precious Holy Ghost, we pray this day that will keep releasing great ideas to David Ibiome that will keep making David Ibiome to be relevant in life and ministry all over the globe. In Jesus' mighty name. Finally, Revelation 12 and 11. And overcame him the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Use the blood of Jesus Christ to clear whatever is programmed to cause shame or mockery in the life, family, and ministry of David Ibiome be averted by the blood. Rest of us, pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is written as a blood in us, the unrighteous of the ordinances that was against him, which was contrary to him. Jesus took it out of his way, nearly it to his cross, but the blood of Jesus Christ will clear whatever is programmed to cause shame, to cause mockery in the life, in the family and ministry of David Ibiome, the blood of Jesus and it the blood of Jesus cancel it, it shall not start, neither shall it come to pass, we nullify it now but the blood of Jesus I wish sure God is faithful please be seated in this session we are praying for genuine worshippers in the salvation ministries, the word of God declares in Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17 no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper 
bind and cast out Satan and his agents from inflicting any harm or evil on you and your genuine loved ones. Take great peace and protection for all. Stand to your feet, pray in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, for there shall no evil happen to the jaws. We shall not be visited with evil. We come against you, Satan. We are bind you. We cast you out. We resist any attempt of yours and your agents to inflict any form of harm or evil against us and our genuine loved ones. We command your words of grace. We resist you by the blood of Jesus Christ. We command your antics to fail and be disgraced. The blood of Jesus Christ is against you, Satan, for there shall no evil before us. Neither shall any plague come near our dwelling. We command your antics to fail and be disgraced. We decree absolute peace and protection for us this season and always in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Acts chapter 27 and verse 22. And now I exhort you to be of good cheer, for there shall be no loss of any man's life among you. Cast out the spirit behind death, sickness, and destruction from assessing journey worshippers and salvation ministries. Pray that there shall be no loss of any life or property to all genuinely connected. Pray in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, for death shall have no dominion over us, for death is watered off in victory. We come against you, we bind and cast you out, the spirit behind death, sickness, and destruction. We resist you by the blood of Jesus Christ and the attempt of yours to access the new ones where salvation ministers. We command your works, destroy and disgrace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, spirit of death and destruction. You are cursed the blood of Jesus Christ. It's against you. You are not permitted to accept the lives, families, and properties of Chinese worshippers in salvation ministries by this written and destruction of famine. That shall lie. We declare and we declare that all Chinese connect them to the church salvation ministries shall not experience any loss of life or property this season and beyond in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17b Every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. Cause any tongue that has risen against your blessing or fruitfulness. Decree that any one of us holding your blessings shall be judged. Pray in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and Jesus caused the victory, and it's withered, we shall decree a thing, and it shall be established. We cause any tongue that has risen against our blessings, our fruitfulness, and breakthroughs. We command the tongue to the root of mouth in the name of Jesus Christ. Every satanic tongue from the feet of hell speaking against our blessings, our fruitfulness, our breakthroughs, we command and destroy by the fire of the Holy Ghost, the blood of Jesus. Christ bring an end to every tongue from the pit of hell resisting the blessings of death for us we command and destroy and disgrace in the mighty name of Jesus we declare that all such forces be judged and be destroyed in the name of Jesus that will not live to carry the evil intents of our lives this season and always in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus mighty name Isaiah chapter 65 verse 23 they shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble. For they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord, and their offspring with them. You will pray against wasteful efforts in anything you do. You will ask God to release his grace to you, and make everything you do fruitful. Pray in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, for thou shalt not build and another inhabit, we shall not plant and another eat. In the name of Jesus, we come against by the blood of Jesus Christ any form of wasted efforts in anything we do. We cause every form of wasted efforts in our lives. We command the soil by the blood of Jesus Christ. You three behind wasted efforts, you are caused in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is against you, for it is written I will make you exceedingly fruitful and I will make you donations and kings shall come from you for I will look on you favorably and make you fruitful and multiply you with decree that the grace of the Lord shall rest upon us and make everything that we do fruitful this season and always in the name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name first John chapter 4 verse 6 b hereby know with the spirit of truth and the spirit of error Pray against whatever wants to make the new worshipers and salvation ministries insensitive to God's leading. Ask the Lord to make us sensitive to enjoy endless fruitfulness and breakthroughs. Pray in the name of Jesus. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And that ye shall hear what behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. We come against the blood of Jesus and we cause whatever wants to make genuine worship us in salvation ministries, in sensitive to the leading of the law. We command all such forces that destroy and disgrace by the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, we ask that you will make us to be sensitive so we enjoy endless fruitfulness and breakthroughs that we shall be at the right place at the right time for you say I will instruct you in a path which I should go I will guide you with my eyes Lord we ask that you guide us that you cause your hand to rest upon us and your face to shine upon us in the name of Jesus finally the word of God declares in Psalm 55 verse 23 but that O God shall bring them down in the repeat of destruction Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days, but I will trust in thee. Sentence to death. Any armed robber, kidnapper, assassin, including their f- informants, planning any attack against your new worshippers in salvation ministries. Pray in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, it is written, the Lord shall scatter to pieces the bones of them that they come against us. We command and we sentence to death any armed robber, any kidnapper, any assassin, all legends of darkness in sense against us. We command and destroy in the name of Jesus Christ. We convoke the rod and the judgment of God upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. For the adversaries of the Lord shall be broken in pieces out of heaven. The Lord of the thunder upon them for they that are incensed against us shall be ashamed and shall perish we command and destroy in the name of Jesus whoever they are wherever they have set themselves against us the judgment of the Lord meet them there and destroy them that they will not live to carry out their evil intents against us we cause them to the root command the powers working them to fail in the mighty name of Jesus the Lord has heard us given glory and praise Father, we thank you for answers to prayers in Jesus' mighty name. With a big hand clap to Jesus, you may please be comfortably seated in God's presence. In Papa's book, Holy Spirit, my helper. Papa said, prayer and the word, which is the foundation of Christianity, can only be accomplished through the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Jam your hands to the glory of God as we invite the following testifiers to share their testimonies. Excellent, Honda, Uzo Mezie Ogechi, Anthony Edwin, Nsima Gibson, David Brown, Goodwell, Funturu, Manuel Johnson, and Prosper Williams. While they come, listen to the following information. A very warm welcome to March 2024 week of spiritual empowerment service. Visit our e-store at smhoestore.com immediately after this service to obtain today's message and all the messages in hard copy and flash drive or subscribe to our monthly collections on MP3 and DVD. Among the materials are message, Glory Rain 24, MP3 and DVD, the purpose of his power, keys for continuous progress, books, manifesting God's glory, Holy Spirit consciousness, wonders of his grace, knowing the person of the Holy Spirit, the helper of the helpless, walking in the anointing and Holy Spirit my help. Raising children in the nature of Christ in this perverse generation requires the right kind of nurturing. Visit the Wisdom Bank today for the right kind of materials for your children or call the number as displayed. The backbone of signs and wonders is the Word of God. Salvation Word of Life Bible Institute presents our second session of the International Basic Certificate Course for the month of March 2024. Basic Certificate Course will be both live and online for countries with GMT Plus or Manos on Time Zones to participate, Nigeria inclusive. Pastors hosting Bible School should please announce at their branches. School begins on Monday 18th and ends Friday 29th of March 2024. Please note, school fee scholarship is available for students who cannot afford it. For registration, visit wolvi.smhos.org or call any of the numbers as displayed. To commit to kingdom advancement and expansion, please refer to the detailed information on your screen. Also for profit offering, send your seed to the account as displayed. Those desiring to build worship centers in any of the categories displayed on the screen, please call the Global Missions Office on any of the numbers as displayed.
Okma International Academy Infant Junior College announces admission into pre-kindergarten primary 1 to 5 and year 7 JSS 1 for 2024-2025 academic session. Applicants are to fill and submit an online application form at okma.org.ng. Note, applicants for the college must be 10 years by September 2024. For entrance examination dates, venues and all the details, please visit okma.org.ng or call any of the numbers as displayed. There will be online foundation class for new converts and believers this Saturday by 9 a.m. The class is designed to give you stability in your Christian adventure and will be transmitted in German, Spanish, Portuguese, French and Italian languages via smhos.org. However, the class will also be viewed via Salvation TV, YouTube, Facebook and X. Meanwhile, there will be live class at the Global Headquarters and all the branches by 8 a.m. Ensure you join and make available your writing materials. Global Leaders Meeting holds this Friday, 15th March 2024 at the Global Headquarters at 5 p.m. It will be transmitted to all our churches. All are to fast before coming. Volunteers are needed at the cathedral site of the Commission for clearing of blocks this Friday and Saturday, 15th and 16th March 2024 at 10 a.m. However, members are encouraged to come out en masse to be part of this kingdom service. To receive daily prayers, prophecies and wisdom quotes for living, like, share and follow David Ibiumi on Facebook, at David Ibiumi on Instagram, at David underscore Ibiumi, X at David Ibiumi. Enjoy yourself in God's presence. God bless you. Your name and testimony. My name is Insima Gibson. My testimony is on Divine Encounter. I was privileged to attend the one-year Bible school. But before then, the place where I worked, they, there's this money they were supposed to pay me since December. So immediately I told them that I'm going to be joining by one-year Bible school. It was as if they were not happy. They, the money, they refused to pay me my money. But I small courage, I came for the Bible school. When the lecturers were teaching us, so I cue my faith inside there. After when we prayed, I discovered that the money started dropping. And after then, I sowed my seed, I paid my tithes, I went for soul winning. The remaining money that was left over was being paid. Secondly, last, year, uh, last month, Thursday was my birthday, and on Saturday was my daughter's birthday. I've got to thank all of Your name and testimony. My name is Excellent Honda. I'm here to testify on God's faithfulness in my life. God has been so faithful to me that I'm strong and healthy. And today is my birthday. I'm 11 years old. I've come to give God all the Your name and your testimony. My name is Goodwell Funtoro. I want to thank God for what did God, God did for me. I came to Bible school believing God for a miracle. In a, on the, I think on the second week, I saw the seed into one of the pastor's life. I said, if I could not make it, let me just sow the seed and go back to Biosa. But God favored me with a colleague in the class also with an accommodation. And also, my school fee has been paid. I come to give God all the glory. Your name and testament. Praise the Lord, church. My name is Prosper Williams from Benin Republic. My testimony is all about favor and healings. In one of the services, Papa talked about someone having a blurring vision. I just remember that I could not read one of my Bible because it, the letters were very, very tiny. It had a tiny print. So when I just followed the instruction, I got to discover that when I got home, I was able to read that and tiny print. And I want to also thank God again that when I came here, I was planning that I was going to pay one month, I mean one term school fees. But somebody told me to send my account details for her. And while I did, I forwarded the church account for her and she just wired the three term school fees. I want to return on the glory to God. Praise. He's healed of blurry vision, your name and testimony. Praise the Lord. My name is Susan Mezio Gechi. I'm here for the first time. I came here yesterday for the first time. I was having that kind of problem, the sickness that was attacked my heart and my throat. I can't eat and I cannot drink water. And I was invited by my brother yesterday. And I thank God that after yesterday's prayer, I got home and I ate and drank water. I gave God the glory. Your name and your testimony. Praise the Lord. My name is David Brown. Prior to this time, I normally use glasses and I encountered word in the Salvation Word of Life Bible Institute. And now I can see clearly. I give God, give God. your name and your testimony. 
My name is Edwin Anthony. My testimony is on divine healing and favor. Um, a privilege to be a one-year Bible school student of this commission. Um, yesterday, our teacher taught us of um, modern prayers. So, why he said something um, concerning this scripture, Matthew 5, verse 9, hallowed be their name. So, during that period, we praise God. And this pain I have over 11 years, this abdominal pain. When I woke up this morning, I noticed that I didn't, like the pain was not there anymore. And also, Today, I key into Matthew 5, verse 9a. Um, the scripture said, uh, our father who art in heaven. So I told God that I, I want him to pay my school fees. So in less than one hour, someone just woke up to me with my school fees. So I came to give God the glory. Your name and your testimony. Praise the Lord. I am Emmanuel Johnson. I have three testimonies. The first is on supernatural church growth. About four and a half months ago, I was here, and that day, by divine mercies, I received divine impartation from our Father. And as I returned back to Lagos, because I came at the time whereby some pastors where our church is located, they were selling their churches to leave the area because churches were not growing. So after I returned, I also printed the massive crowd here. I printed it on a very large banner. I didn't write any name. I just printed the picture, very massive. I placed at the entrance of our church, and I called our pastors and I said, the devil that could not stop salvation ministry from growing will never stop this church from growing henceforth. And to God be the glory, within four months, we have grown from a little above 300. Now we are over 1,000. Also, by the grace of God, we went two and a half months ago, we went to Lagos State University for campus fellowship. And within these three, uh, two months, we are over 300. Um, secondly, on the um, healing school, during healing school, during um, glory reign, Papa called uh, ministers who wanted the same grace, that God asked him to distribute the same grace. And um, I came into that. As I returned back to Lagos, all kinds of miracles were happening, including liver restored, kidney restored. And number three testimony was that on the last day of the glory reign, I went to Papa. I took some handkerchief to be prayed upon to become a mantle. So when I got to Papa, Papa looked at the handkerchief, lay hands on them. He didn't pray. He just smiled. I returned back to Lagos. I gave some of our ministers. There's one of our ministers who is a, who is a head teacher in a school. So they went uh, on that faithful day. They said one of the students is very sick, and she asked them to take this child to the sick bay. After one hour, they called her and said the child is gasping for breath. By the by time she got there, within a few minutes, the child gave up. They called a the doctor and they confirmed that the child is gone. According to what she had called me, I didn't pick, and she remembered the mantle. She ran back home, brought the mantle, and she laid the mantle on the child. Within 30 seconds, the child sneezed and came back to life. I have come to restore all the glory to God and to celebrate my father and my mother for the grace of God upon them that is answering our life. Shall we invite officials to read testimonies from worshippers across the globe? Testimony from Siwa, Nigeria. Recently, I felt anxious and depressed over a never-ending debt and financial constraint. On the morning of Tuesday, the 12th of March, 2024, I asked the Holy Spirit to visit me and change my story, backing my request with scriptures. During the church in the house service, that is the first day of the March week of spiritual empowerment, I prayed for financial favor and using my ATM card as a point of contact. When God's servant was ministering, about three hours later, I was financially favored with an amount that was more than enough to clear my debt. Also, during the service, the servant of God mentioned a case of someone who stammers. I believed and responded with a heartfelt amen. After that, I noticed that my speech has improved and my stuttering has significantly reduced. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your divine visitation. Salvation Ministries Church, Emado Plaza by Sharp Corner, Abuja Kefi Expressway, Maraba, Nasarawa State, Nigeria. From Michael Michael. On Wednesday, 7 February 2024, I was at an ATM to withdraw money when some hoodlums came and asked me to withdraw money from my account with threats to harm me if I did not comply. I immediately started speaking in tongues within me while still conversing with them. They forcefully snatched the ATM card and inserted it into the machine. Miraculously, the machine withheld the card and they became confused. They had no choice but to leave, but told me, you are lucky the God you are serving has saved you. I return all the glory to God. Salvation Ministries Church, number one, Salvation Drive, Azikoro Town, Bayelsa State, Nigeria. 
from our boy Key Felix towards the close of service on March the 1st, 2024, during our week of spiritual empowerment, that is Church in the House. God's servant declared that we'll testify the following day, and I received it in faith. Upon returning home after the service, I received a call from someone I had not been in contact with for some time, offering me a job opportunity. Additionally, I was financially favored by another person. On the same day, I give God all the glory for his divine provision and faithfulness. Salvation Ministry Church, number 29, Ayegbami Street, Ijebode, Ogun State, Nigeria, from OJJ Charles. I came to Ijebode, Ogun State on 17 November 2023 to supervise a project. I immediately located a branch of Salvation Ministries and started fellowshipping there. I consciously claimed every prophetic declaration by God's servant and was committed to kingdom promotion at the branch. While on duty on Wednesday, 6 March 2024, I received a letter promoting me from a project supervisor to a project manager with mouth watering benefits attached. My heart is full of joy and I return all glory to God. God is the doer of this great testimony. Shall we rise to our feet and return the glory back to him? Faithful God, we consciously appreciate you from the depth of our hearts. We thank you. You are the doer. Receive all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name. You may please be seated as the choir ministers. sense. I know what it looks like, but I choose to go against that. And I'm speaking something different. I'm speaking something different. Claiming something different. Expecting something different. Say, this may not make sense. I know, but I choose. And I'm speaking Different. I'm claiming, expecting. Come on, Zara, this week, this week will, be will be a week for miracles. Tell him this week will be, will be a week for miracles. This week will be, will be a week for miracles. And I'm speaking, I'm speaking, I'm claiming, expecting, I cannot explain, oh, this may not be I know, but I choose, and I'm speaking, different, I'm claiming,
crazy now. I'm crazy now, cause I believe it. Yeah, thank God I'm half the way. I like yeah. it. Yeah, I'm a crazy now. I'm crazy together for Jesus once more. The wonders of his manifestation is introduction of guests. In Genesis chapter 49 verse 10, the Bible says the scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawyer from between his feet until Shiloh come, and unto him shall the gathering of his people be. In no particular order, we'll be recognizing guests that has come to attend this meeting. May we recognize the presence of Bishop Daniel Onoha of Oasis of Love Chapel International, Port Harcourt. Bishop Victor Uzosike of Kingdom Life Gospel Church International, Port Harcourt. Bishop, Doctor, and Pastor Mrs. E. N. Odison, the Good News of Christ Ministries, Port Harcourt. Bishop Alfred Femi Martins, Higher Grounds Family Church, Port Harcourt. Bishop, Doctor, and Reverend Mrs. Marvin Jack, Gospel Faith Global Ministry, Port Harcourt. Apostle Wisdom Akinyo Soye, Triumphant Peoples International Church, Yenegua Bayelsa State. And Pastor Chibweze S.J. Okezie, Chapel of Answered Prayers International, Aba Abia State, Pastor Henry Amadi, Lighthouse Ministry, and Pastor Agape Celestine, Living Our Covenant Ministries, Port Harcourt, and other ministers of the gospel. And you, our esteemed guests, you are welcome. You are living here with your testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Jam those beautiful hands as we invite the choir once more to lead in worship. Hallelujah. Please may we rise on our feet as we go to God in worship. It was stage, Lord, and have your way. I'm just a vessel, yet nothing more. When you're done. Please take the glory and satisfy just to see
Shall we lift our hands to heaven? Magnify the King of all kings from the dead of our hearts. Open your mouth and just worship him. Go ahead and tell him you love him. Speak to him from the dead of your heart and just worship the King of all kings. Exalt him because no one is like him forever is on the throne. We worship and adore you. We magnify your name, King of glory. We celebrate your greatness and faithfulness in our lives. We exalt you, mighty God. We give you all praise and glory. In Jesus' most wonderful name. Heavenly Father, today is the third day of the week of spiritual empowerment. We ask that you breathe upon the word of life. Everyone that we are part of this service or hear this message in any form will never remain the same. Each one we have an encounter for a definite change of story. In Jesus' mighty name. Everyone went to be baptized. But Jesus went and said, when he prayed, the heaven was over him opened. Others only got there just to dip themselves. But he went with a purpose. So he was the only one that encountered an open heaven. Many are in church, but they are not in touch. They just came because they felt they just have to come to church. Even while in church, they are not concentrating. Lord, I'm not here for fun. I'm here. You couldn't have left your house just to come here to be carried away with things that are not relevant. Lord, let everything that will distract me be destroyed. I'm here for an encounter and a change of... Never come in God's presence being carnal. That's the worst thing you do. Every time in God's presence, die to yourself. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? They say, I die daily. That was what Paul said. You die to yourself and be alive to God. Lord, I'm here not for fun. I'm here for an encounter. I'm here for a change of story. I'm here for a change of levels. It's not just only material things. There should be a change of level, even your spiritual life. Are you getting what I'm saying now? You can't be playing for praying against malaria for five weeks, for one week. No. You get to a point where malaria should just look at you and run away. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Yes, you must change the level even as a Christian. Not the, what you last year you are struggling. You shouldn't struggle. You should look at the devil and the devil should flee from you. Lord, this must be a day of a definite encounter. When Jacob encountered God, there was a change of story. I must not leave this service the same. Pray that prayer from the depth of your heart. Cry to God from your heart. There must be an encounter today. A change of story for my life. Bari si li brado li greti a kataloze e kratole ginjanto bregedia katale si alo le bredia. There must be a change of story today. In the alo bredi kren the alo si deri greti a katalo bregedi. Sin tampro kretele kande bregedia katale gezi a kashantala. Ali se li bregeti a kota. Many se celebrate ti a kata. I'm here for an encounter with you, God. A definite encounter. A touch of the Holy Spirit. For a change of story. No matter where you are in any part of the world, pour your heart to God right now. I am set for a change. In the precious name of Jesus. Before this service will be over, your testimony will be born. People come and go home empty, but you will not be that. Because I know you are set. Like you are set, like if you see me when I'm caught up, it's yours. Before Elijah was caught up, it was already revealed that Elijah would be taken. Because the prophets, the sons of the prophets said, hope you know your master will be taken. Which means it was already revealed to all. They all knew that Elijah would be taken. It was not a sudden thing. But the moment came, only Elijah, Elijah was able to catch the moment. May you never miss your moment. <laughs> Don't allow if your neighbor distract you. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Don't allow irrelevant carnal thoughts distract you. Set your focus on the word of God. And something will happen. Your story must change in the name of Jesus. You may be seated. Give me a big hand. 
wonders of his manifestation. Today is the third day. How many of you are blessed yesterday with supernatural intelligence? Were you blessed yesterday? You know it can never be average anymore. Today we'll be looking at engaging the Holy Spirit for vengeance. Engaging the Holy Spirit for vengeance. You can't reign in this wicked world without the vengeance of the Holy Ghost. It said the whole world, not the whole country, the whole world lieth in wickedness. First John 5 19, the be birth. It said the dark places of the earth are full of habitations of cruelty. Psalm 74, verse 20. Wickedness is everywhere. I shared a story where a brother came to me in another church, a Pentecostal church also, and said, sir, do you know that every calamity I went through was my younger brother? I said, how? He said, it was when he died, I knew. This man was going fast in his business. All of a sudden, everything went down. His spine here was paining him, hospital, from hospital to hospital. They would say it's one story, the degenerated spine. They, you know, when you go, you don't see Satan in the microscope. You don't see him in any lab star. No scan can pick the devil. They say it was this, it was that. His life was just going down and down and down. Then he came for a service like this without knowing in the midweek and I was teaching of vengeance. He said it was after that vengeance, his own younger brother who was behind him, carrying his name from one witch doctor to another. He was taking his picture and name to everywhere. Then after that vengeance, heavens reacted. His brother was struck with a strange illness. Now he, the, the one who was the, was one who paid the bills. Then at the point of death, they now confessed. So when he died, they told him that your brother confessed that he's the one behind your calamities. So he asked the wife, say, are you aware of him? He said, so you are aware? He said, hey. He said, the moment the brother was afflicted, all the problems were him ended. Today, everything torment you will end in this service. He said, as the brother was afflicted, everything about this brother, he just bounced back farm. Maybe I'm sure he's in this service also, or he's somewhere in any of the branches. In Psalm 7, 9 to 10, 11b to 13. He said, oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. So it will end today. Amen. Say it like a child of God. Amen. He said, oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. But establish the jaws for the righteous God tried the hells and ruin. My defense is of God, which severed the upright heart. He said, God is angry with the wicked Every day, not some days. In the one yesterday is different from one today. Are you holier than God? God is angry with the wicked. He said, I, I don't believe in that kind of prayer. Do you know there are people who don't believe in his vengeance? And watch everyone don't believe in his vengeance. They're always afflicted. They have all manner of challenges in their lives. He said, If he turn off, he will wear his sword. He had bent his bow and made it ready. Now hear this, today, not tomorrow. Verse 13. He has also prepared for him the instruments of dead. He ordained his arrows against the persecutors. Everyone persecuting you and I. Everyone who has planned that they will destroy us, they will die this week in the name of Jesus. God is angry with the wicked. Please refuse to be religious. If God is angry, are you holier than God? I, I, I don't believe in this kind of vengeance. Who are you? If God is angry, you are not angry. Then you're a fool. Big fool. God himself calls you a fool. If God Almighty is angry, you, you are saying, I, I, don't, I, I, I don't believe in this kind of... Check your life. Two sets of people who don't like this one. One, two ones are not clean. 
Those who are in church, but they're in cult. They don't like this kind of prayer. They say, no, 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 no. pastor should just pray. Then religious people who are ignorant. And almost all religious people look, that would do like this, they'll die untimely. Because if you have the wizard or witch in your house and you say, I don't believe, they will attack you. And it will happen. Please prepare your heart to... Maybe you didn't come from a wicked background. If you came from a kind of background, in fact, you will let the vengeance before you even teach you. <laughs> are you hearing me now? You've not seen wickedness. That's why you're just saying, hey, hey. If you came from my type, where your wickedness came over the whole family, nobody could raise a head. You wouldn't need, in fact, the day there's a vengeance, you will be in front. You will come by one o'clock, before four o'clock. <laughs> you understand? You understand? Well, God is love, but in his love, he hates the wicked. God is terrible in dealing with the wicked. In Jeremiah chapter 20, 10 to 12. For I have heard the defaming of many, fear on every side. Reports say they, and we will report it. All my familiars watched for my heart and sin. But eventually he will be enticed. And we shall prevail against him. And we shall take our revenge on him. But the Lord is with me as a mighty terrible one. Therefore my persecutor shall what? I, do you believe God's word? Yes. Say with me, all my persecutors will stumble. All my stumble. They shall not prevail. They shall be greatly what? Ashamed. For they shall not prosper. Their everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten. May this be the portion of those who have evil against our lives. Yes. But O oh Lord of hosts that tries the righteous and sears the realms and the heart, let me see thy vengeance chance on them for unto thee have I opened my cause lift your right hand and say today yes. everyone persecuted me yes. everyone after my life yes. Lord take vengeance yes. against them yes. now. now in the name of Jesus yes. please notice there are things you pray for and there are things you pray against if you don't want evil to prevail against you you don't pray for a witch. You pray against a witch. He said he gave them power against unclean spirits. Against unclean spirits. Matthew 10 verse 1. He didn't say he gave them power for unclean spirits. Do you pray for a witch? To live. You pray against a witch to die. He says suffer not a witch to live. You know, sir, I'm praying for the witch to repent. A notorious witch in worry. This woman notorious to the to the, all her children, none one married. The one who married died before her. In their sisters, not one. One of them is a member of this church. When they say someone is wicked, our wickedness is not in this world, though. Our daughter does not believe. She inflicted her and she died in a strange land. Her son said, Papa, my mother's wickedness is not here. She just sees, she twisted her own son, twisted him and put him on a sick bed till he died. Every time a child dies, she will look fresh. She will do party. Her own child, though. It, it, you've not seen, so if you have not seen wickedness, she's already dead now. You've not seen wickedness, are you? Mm -hmm. Okay, how do you pray for such person to repent? Witches donate their own. They don't. <laughs> and when people die, they will first be the first to come and say, hey, this is perfect. Hey. They are the ones who donated the beginning. So God's power is not only to make things happen, but to undo the wicked. It is scriptural to afflict vengeance on the wicked. It is very biblical. Very what? In 2 Thessalonians 1 6, it said, Sin, it is a righteous thing with God. To recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. It's a right, in fact, it is unholy not to recompense. Do you read the Bible well? In case you have that mentality. He said, it is a righteous thing. So if you are not troubling your troublers, it's unrighteous. Am I the one that wrote the Bible? Okay, it's a sin. It is a righteous thing. So all of you who say, I don't believe in righteous, you're unrighteous. Based on this scripture. It is a righteous thing with God. Is it with me? 
with God. To recompense tribulation. Tribulation means multiply trouble. To them that what? You wake up in the morning, they trouble you. You sleep in the night, they trouble you. You want to go to work, they trouble you. And you say, look, oh hey, this man, now, oh, forgive up. Please go to another church. I push you, go to another church. Don't even hear me. Don't listen to my message. You are free to go. Go to where they will be troubling you. But here, anyone troubling you will be troubled now. Anyone tormenting, not giving us peace, peace will leave the person forever. In the name of Jesus. Is it God is angry with the wicked? Now, hear this and hear me well. Part of the Holy Spirit end time agenda is vengeance. Is what? Many of you don't know the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. So you think we are still in dispensation of Jesus? No, no. Just I told you we are three dispensations dispensation of God, do the prophets, the of Jesus, do the apostles. We are now in the dispensation of what? Holy Spirit. His dispensation is vengeance. Let me show you from the Bible. Isaiah 61, 1 to 2. Please read the Bible because some people are very funny. No matter what you preach, they will want to say, do you know one that was teaching? And I said, you are God. A man came to me and said, Papa. Even when he saw it from the Bible, he said, Papa, do you say I should say I'm a God? I said, am I the one who says so? The Bible says so. He said, no, but don't you think it's blasphemy? I said, look at the Bible. Now, am I the one that wrote the Bible? He said, you are God. And if you call them God, he said, no, no, but I can't say so. Because the man is suffering to today. In fact, if suffering has great, his own suffering is, you know, amongst the poor, there are poor. You know, belief is, if you have a negative belief, balance Bible, balance what? Please, there's a quiet side of God. There's the other side of God. I'm the Lord that kill it and make it alive. When you pray for the sick, God bring him back. When you pray for the wicked, you don't say pray against the wicked, not pray for you. you pray against the wicked. You say, God, kill him. Am I the one that killed Pharaoh? Who killed him? You're holier than God. Who killed the victory? Who killed Ananias and Sapphira in the church? Be holier than them. So God the Father huh? killed. God the Son? God the Holy Ghost? You don't kill. <laughs> Thank you. One day they were teaching on television, remaining for the best to call my name. So one pastor for that God. Remaining for him to say David Biomi. And he knows if he says I will sue him. Me, I don't waste, I will make money with it. You call my name, I will make money with it. I, I will sue you, pray you. I told a, a blogger and I wrote him a letter ten billion dollars. That was the last day I started talking. I, when I said 10, so 10 billion naira, I say any day carry my story, 10 billion naira. He avoids me like plague. <laughs> I wrote to him, I know him, so I wrote to him. I said, I'm aware who you are, 10 billion. Any day, good or bad, don't carry my story. You know, they think church is only uh, for where? You carry me, I go follow you with prayer, I go follow you with the law, I go follow you with everything. <clears throat> I will arrest you, I will lock you, I will do everything. <laughs> and I will take vengeance prayers against you. That's Christianity. That's what? Uh, don't tell me, slap me, attorney. What if you is not there? <laughs> I don't know your own Christianity. Nobody will slap me or you. Slap me here. No. What if they slap you and your teeth come out? <laughs> There's. <laughs> There's. <laughs> me, oh, no, slap me. Oh. Before you lift your hand, your hand should die. How many like that type? Anybody planning to knock you, their hand will paralyze. In the name of Jesus. He said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring good tidings of the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of prison to them that are bound. Verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. See, come there. Do you see, come I'm going to show you something. See, come and that means something added. And the day of what? Vengeance of our God to comfort others more. 
This was a prophecy of Jesus and the Holy Spirit. The two combined together, as I was prophesying. Turn to Luke 4, 18 to 20. Look at it, verbatim repeated. And the Spirit of the Lord is what? Upon me. This is Jesus speaking. Because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and the cross of sight to the blind, to set a liver dead and what? To preach the word. This was where what? Command in that place. That's true. And he did what? This is Jesus. He said, this is where my chapter ends. Jesus said, this is where my chapter what? Because he came then to redeem man from sin. So there was no vengeance. He said, my ministry ends here. But he said, after I leave, the one coming, we open the chapter. If it was the time of Jesus, Peter wouldn't have said, Ananias, are you telling me the truth? They wouldn't have died in church. They would have been merciful. If it's the time of Jesus, he would have forgiven and nice and suffer. But in the time of the Holy Ghost, no way. And that is the dispensation we're in. So many people mistake the dispensation of Jesus and the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. This time oh, is the time of vengeance. So here. So at last time, vengeance. The pastor said, sir, can we do vengeance every month? I said, for what? <laughs> it's every month. He said, it's good every month if you can do one. That anything to vengeance, we are very happy. But I told him, I said, when you do like that, become a doctor. <laughs> yeah, this are, yeah, you cannot get to your promised land without the Holy Ghost executing vengeance on your behalf. When Israel was living in Egypt, <laughs> Pharaoh said, Who is that God that will let you go? <laughs> and in Exodus 12, verse 12, God said, I'll pass through the land of Egypt this night. I will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast. And against the gods, take note, against what? So there are some forces beyond the human that go against you. And that was the good judgment, I am the Lord. Has God changed? He said, I am the Lord, I changed not. The gods, have you not seen people boast and say, I will deal with you? I didn't say, you're a church man. Let me see how you will survive. The terms I have will deal with you. Have you not seen people boast like that? They are boasting with their God. God's lift to right hand and say, I have a God in heaven. Yes. Who judges? Every evil against my life. Every evil against my destiny. Oh God of vengeance. This very moment is the good vengeance against those gods and the agents of the devil. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Every evil after your life goes down. Incantation, demonic force bears, terms against you, they go down and destroy the persons. In the name of Jesus, whatever evil that's casting you to your direction will go back to sender. If you are a believer, say amen like a believer. The Holy Spirit of God is the Holy Spirit is God's weapon of vengeance. God's weapon of what? The Holy Spirit is God's weapon of vengeance. In Exodus chapter 4, 22 23, <laughs> it says, And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thou say the Lord, Israel is my son, <laughs> even my firstborn. <laughs> what he says to Israel, he says to you and I. True? Are you a child of God? When he says son, daughters are there. So don't think that the son, the Bible, don't have to put the, he's talking about what the women too. Are you there? And I say unto thee, Let my son. Women were inside the sons, true? The Bible is calling sons because they don't have to put men and women. Women were also part of the children of Israel. Let my son go, that he may what? And if thou refuse to let him go, behold, I will slay thy son, even thy firstborn. Ma. I was studying and I discovered, you remember Pharaoh slayed all the children that were below two. You remember that? It slayed, that was why Moses escaped dead. So God remembered the day like this and punished them back. Do you understand now? Remember all the children were killed in the time of Moses. And God said, day is coming, you pay back. And that day, there was cry in the whole of Egypt. Everyone who has vowed to torment our lives, who has said, no! Some even have said, I will not be alive to see this family go forward. Today, in the name of Jesus Christ, those families will have a cry right now. Yeah. 
say with me, everyone after my family. I mean, those who my joy is their joy. Anyone who is after any of them. Anyone after me. This day, there shall be cry in their own houses. Oh God of vengeance, slay their own children. Whoever has made me to cry, they will cry today. In case anyone has killed any of your children, I decree they will bury their own today. If anyone has killed your children today, vocation, they will bury their children today. If you believe in same man like a believer, in the name of Jesus. The Holy Ghost guarantees our liberty. Guarantees what? Our liberty. Not the spirit. Now, the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, that is what? Anywhere the Holy Ghost is, freedom is guaranteed. In case you have been held bound, held in the chains, in the shackles of the devil, I command your liberty now in the name of Jesus. Anywhere the enemy has held anyone captive, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Ghost, you are set free now from those chains. As I'm speaking, somebody is delivered from those chains. Somebody is free right now. If you are the one who is at liberty, let your amen be the loudest. He said, when he sets you free, you are free. If the devil has held you down, you'll be set free right now. In the precious name of Jesus. He executes judgment against the prince of the world and all his agents. In John 16, 7, 8, and 11. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. Now, many people don't know the ministry of the Holy Ghost. Listen carefully. It's the spirit that I tell you that I go away. If I go not away, the comfort will not come. We all know that he has come. Is that true? And if I depart, I will send him to you. How many know he has come already? But listen. And when he's come, he will reprove the world of what? Which we all talk about. We don't know the Holy Ghost is reprove the world of sin. Is anybody who doesn't know that? We know it. And of what? Many of us know this. We know the rule of sin, the righteousness, but there's a part many don't know. And of what? Okay, why don't you? They only stop here. Be holy, correct. Live right, correct. They never talk. The Holy Ghost has dimensions. One of his ministries is what? Judgment. Okay, why don't we employ? If we employ judgment, nobody will solve the church. Are you getting me now? Nobody will get up and insult the body of Christ. In your office, they'll be afraid of you. But we don't take that part. We even pray, oh God, forgive this man, my manager. Who wants to kill me? Life story, my wife is aware. A man was attacked by armed robbers in Lagos. They used gun on his knees. He's gone to be with the Lord. You know when you have that kind of fidelity, to die quick is not a problem. And I said to him, I said, sir, do I pray that armed robbers be dead. He said, no. Pastor, pray that God should touch them for them to repent. I looked at him. I said, sir, what did he say? I just came out of Bible school. He said, I said, say again. He said, you pray for God to touch them and then forgive them for them to change. I didn't think twice. I said, sir, I'm not praying. And I didn't pray. I didn't follow him to believe that kind of I didn't pray. He said, pray. I said, me pray. Pray for God to forgive him, brother. Who took God and hit your leg? I was ready to say, pray. I would have said the same God to hit your leg, you should die with it. He said, me pray. I didn't pray. Oh, the man is dead. Not that he, he didn't make heaven, but since he does not believe in vengeance. You know, Stephen was stoned. He didn't believe in vengeance. He died. Paul was stoned. Paul said, no, me, I won't die. He said, of judgment because the priest of this world is what? Judge. Let me say this to you. It will touch you. Do you know without vengeance, you will not make progress? You can't make progress without what? You can't. <laughs> ah, to enjoy, to in, God enjoys as good vengeance on our adversaries. Nobody can make progress without what? Vengeance. No, you can't. In this wicked world. <laughs> One day, a man called Haman prepared Gallo to hang Mordecai. He was to completely wipe off the race of the Jews. <laughs> and he was, was preparing. He didn't know that God was also working. In Esther chapter 7. I don't know who is preparing evil to, 
to destroy any of us. By that same evil they are preparing, they will die with it. He was preparing that they will hang Mordecai on the gallow. And the next, for verse 7, for time's sake. And Habona, one of the Chamberlains, said before the king, Behold also, the gallows 50 cubits high. Just imagine what somebody is planning for somebody. Which Haman had made for Mordecai, who's, who's spoken good for the king, standing in the house of Haman. Then the king said, Hang him there. On. Hang him. The thing is, lift my hand and lift your hand towards heaven and say, Every evil. Anyone, anyone has planned against me, <laughs> let them buy that same evil. Let them die by that same evil. Whatever they plan to do to me and all that concerns me, let it turn back to them. Not after. Now. 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 In the name of Jesus. Shout hallelujah. In Jeremiah 50 verse 15. He said, shout against her roundabout. She had given her hand. Her foundations are fallen. Her walls are thrown down. For it is the vengeance of the Lord. Take vengeance upon her. As she had done, do unto her. Every evil anyone has planned against us, they will fall into that same plan in the name of Jesus. Is God troubling our troublers? We are already second Thessalonians 1 6. You are this and you are the Holy Spirit silences our enemies to give us comfort. So give us what? Vengeance is the access to our supernatural breakthroughs. Many of you, you know that by now your life would have moved forward. But you are still praying, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. I will read something to you that will baffle you. Turn with me to Isaiah 61. I will read 1 to 2, then 3 to 7. You will be surprised. Look at it. Already we have read 1 to 2. I'm sure you, your memory is fast to save time. Is that true? Now, the moment vengeance was done for the for benefit of some people who may come late, come late. No, we are not. Every, some people, this is not their intent, church. Otherwise, there's no point reading verse 1 and verse 2. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because anointed me to all the rest. Is that true? To proclaim liberty, read it at home, verse 2. <laughs> to proclaim the separate year of God. And the day of vengeance of God. To comfort all that more. Now, look at verse 3. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give unto them beauty for what? Verse 4, time's sake. And they shall build what? Until vengeance takes place, they can't build the old waste. Raise of my what? Desolations. They shall repair the waste cities. The desolations of many what? Without vengeance. Without what? Now listen. It is vengeance that can make things that are not working to work. Today, everybody shouting of Abba. 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 Through. Through. As the best place that has transformed Nigeria. But men of God went to Abba and said, this, uh, when I went to Abba for crusade, I folded my hand. I said, what is this? Not one road. Dustbin. 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 Garbage. So I called the pastor and said, this city, what is wrong? I'm not the only one who prayed, so I can't take the credit. The other men of God. And we said, our bar must be transformed through. And today, he cleared those, those forces that keep our bar from going and install wherever he wants to install. True? Without vengeance, nothing will work. There are people who are agents of the devil who say progress will never take place. You don't know? As Pharaoh was he not a human? He came to stop the children of Israel from progressing. Without the spiritual, the physical can't work. Are you getting what I'm talking about? He said, then why is the church not praying? I won't go into that one. The church is divided. Some of us are praying for God to work. Some people are praying for God not to work. The same church. If you have here, you hear. Verse 4. That's why it's as if, even though the church is too powerful. The church is too powerful. In one voice. You know, Abia came together in one voice. Ooh, everybody in Abia said, No! No! You can't take away this man. The woman in Abia, I hope you know. The professor. 
She said, no way. But if she said, yeah way, yeah way. <laughs> Even the prayer went off. She stood her ground and said, you can never give me bribe to turn it. So today is showing. Through, but the church is divided. Hope you know. Some of us are praying, no God, change. Some of us are praying, no change. Because of their personal interests. So don't think that. But you need vengeance for things to go forward. And they shall. <laughs> but today, let me face you. Let me leave all those ones. Number five. Verse five. The stranger shall stand and feed your flocks. The sons of the alien shall be your plowmen and what? Jesus. How many of you want to employ foreigners? Say, after this vengeance, foreigners work for me. Say like a child of God. I will employ foreigners to work. You shall be named the priest of the Lord. Men shall call you ministers of our God. You shall eat the riches of the dead. Not the meaning you shall eat the wealth of sinners. That's clear. Means you shall eat the wealth of what? When vengeance came, Israel took over the wealth of Egypt. True. Today, wealth will be moved to your own hands. And in their glory shall you boast yourselves. For your shame shall have what? After this service, anywhere you have seen shame, God will bless you more than you know. Bring verse 7. Let me close with verse 7. Shout hallelujah. When the contending forces are destroyed, breakthrough will become real. What God does is he clears the way. Everything resisting you clear. Do you know once evil clears, things don't make... That's the essence of today's service. The moment evil clears, if you say, Father, bless me. God, promote me. God, lift me. Give me this. But if forces are contending with you, you say, Father, promote me. The forces will not resist. Lord, I need to marry. Lord, I need this. But today, all those forces will go down. How does the Holy Spirit execute vengeance? How does he execute what? Vengeance. I'm going to give you how he does it. Today's service is very rich. How does he execute what? Vengeance. Number one, through prophetic declarations. Through what? In Isaiah chapter 12 verse 13. And by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet, was it what? Preserved. He said, confirming the words of his servant and the counsel of his messengers. You are going to open your mouth and do what? Declare. This is how I want it to be done. I think I should do practicals with you. I have five prayer points, but before we get to five prayer points, every point, do something. So that if this one does not work, this will work. Is that true? You just sit where you say, now. Not long prayer. Prophetic what? Prophetic revelation is different from prayers. You just say the name of Jesus. Everything after me now goes down. One word, straight, sharp, direct. Are you ready? Now, in one minute, open your mouth in the name of Jesus. Hey, if you want to stand, you stand. If you want to sit, you sit. Jesus, mighty name. You may be seated. Number two, by our intense prayers, by our what? Intense prayers, by our intense prayers. In Luke chapter 18, 3 to 8, there was a sat there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him saying, Avenge me of my adversary. And he would not for a while. But afterward, he said within himself, Do I fear not God, nor the God man? Yet, because this widow troubled me, I will avenge at least by her continual coming, she will me. Is that in your Bible? And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge said. 
And shall not God avenge his own elect? Which cried they are night unto him, though he bear long with them. I tell you that he will avenge them what? Now let's when the son of man come and shall he find faith on the earth? Will he see men who have faith to pray? So here. He said, O oh Lord God of heaven, to whom vengeance belongeth. Psalm 94, 1 to 4. He said, Show thyself. Render, verse 2. Lift up thyself, that judge of the earth. Render a reward to the proud. Lord, oh Lord, how shall the wicked, how shall the wicked what? Triumph. How long shall they want and speak hard things? And all the workers of iniquity both they say, they say, forget this church people, nonsense. Have you not had people talk so? Yes. You don't fold your head. They said, get lost with your church. What, what is your church? That your God can't do anything. And you are laughing. <laughs> the man said, what God go do? You think God will come and fight for you? No! God will not fight for you if you don't do something. God will be watching you. If Moses never opened his mouth, Pharaoh would have killed him. For I was crying to God, oh God, Moses, ah! what are you talking? You are crying to me? Do something, my friend. You know your problem? You've done nothing. God said, I give you a mouth, open it. But today, you do something. <laughs> when things are not work going the way you want them, don't keep quiet. Pray for a change. Pray for what? Don't close your mouth against evil. Pray with intense seriousness and persistence for a change. <laughs> I'll tell you a life story. The biological family where I came from, at the time, everything stopped. You will know this is not normal. It was satanic. It was demonic. When I became born again, I got to one midnight. I will never forget around 2 a.m. I said, oh God of heaven. This is not how life should be. Whatever is responsible for this evil in this family, it must come to an end. After that prayer, everything turned. You don't watch what you don't want. You pray it. Elimas the sorcerer was withstanding Paul in Acts 13, 8 to 11. <laughs> and Paul looked at him and said, you son of the devil. Full of all subtlety. Be blind for a season. He, if Paul has kept quiet, the man would have misbehaved. Are you getting what I'm talking about? He said, you devil, be blind for what? A season. And that man went blind. In the name of Jesus Christ, everyone standing against our lives, I command them, go blind now. <laughs> I've known this level of Christianity. When we came newly to Port Harcourt, when God said, I said, I'm in July 97. I took an occultic man, his books are burnt. He, he kept a lecturer captive. And they told me that this lecturer, a lecturer, he made him useless. This man will go open beer for his own girlfriends. A lecturer. He, you know, occultic men, they can render people useless. He rendered the man useless. So the family was crying. He said, look at our father. He left this lecturing job to be doing this kind of work. So I said, bring the books. He gave him these occultic books. So when I burnt the books, the man knew that I burnt his books. So that night, like a hawk came Why? to attack me. So I got up and God said, is that man you burnt his books? <sighs> so I woke up in the night and I said, this devil, he died with stroke on the bed. He was put in the same place, the same place they died. Because I sentenced him to death. My friend, you don't pray, oh God, oh God. All those vegetable prayers will stop. I'm going to give prayers, you will stop. Don't pray those kind of prayers. Father, if they go die, make them die now. And they tell you, make them die. If they go die, they go die. You're not going to kill them. Please try and kill them. If they don't die, try now. Ah! Is that prayer? That's not prayer. Oh God! Everything tormenting my life that doesn't want to give me peace this day. You pray the prayer that you two will know you are finished. That's why you write an exam, no carry over. If you carry over after today, you're not serious. You're not what? Okay. Say no devil. 
after my life survives. Say it one more time. Every evil tormenting me, trying to torment me, goes down. Will you pray? When, when theory practical, theory practical. Now, 30 seconds go ahead in the name of Jesus. Jesus mighty name. Number three. Bold declaration. What did I say? How does the Holy Spirit execute vengeance? Number three. Bold declaration. By bold what? Bold declaration commits God's integrity to act in your favor. A man called Goliath <laughs> came on this. Now that word Goliath is a descriptive name. Is it what? It's a descriptive name for giant. It's like some places in some places you say Yamainabo. Yamainabo is not the name of the person. It's a descriptive name for a royal, somebody on the throne. You look at somebody said, uh, is it something? It's just that word Goliath means giant. Means what? It means some of you you have Goliath of poverty. One giant of poverty just stood in your family. You are doing everything but... <laughs> Do you know where evil is against a the family? They can walk. Nothing will walk. Their families, everybody is a graduate. But nobody can bring one million. What one million? One hundred thousand. If any emergency come, not, nobody. They are all graduates. If you say one hundred thousand, people will look at each other and say, who will raise them? Who will raise it? That is not normal. Is it normal? David, first Samuel 17, 45. Then said David to the Philistine, <laughs> Thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield, but I, but I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom does what? He said, This day I'll bring your head down. Maru brekitiakata. He declared it. Did God confirm it? What you don't declare, God cannot confirm. It was a you early master sorcerer. Bold declaration. Bold what? Life story. We held a crusade in Port Harcourt, Nigeria, years back. And at the same time we were holding crusade, a very popular American musician was to perform the same day, called 50 Cent. As at that time, he was at the prime of his career. We were holding the crusade, and he was to perform in Port Harcourt. <laughs> that means nobody will come for the crusade. Because even the church people bought ticket <laughs> to attend this crusade. The advertisement was global. It was one of the breweries that advertised it. They prepared the stage, they prepared his coming. The whole city was a gog for 50 cent. And crusade was to hold. <laughs> I came up at Civic Center. I've not did this level of anointing. And I said, listen, 50 cent will not be here tomorrow. <sighs> if you drop pin, it will sound. A young boy said, he's a Catholic. He said, if this 50 cent no come, oh boy, I go born again. I don't buy ticket to I don't buy ticket. If this man wait till they talk, he no come. I will give my life. 50 cent. He go call tomorrow. We know. This man saying he go call tomorrow. We go see. He shared the testimony on this altar. I don't know any of the old members. You know. He said, if this man no come, me I go born again. 
But I declared it boldly. I declared it what? Boldly. When you speak, don't doubt. There's power in what you declare. And by the day, 50 Cent entered the aircraft. You know what has gone forth? It was with other P-man, all those ones who were hearing. They were all with him in the aircraft. Then all of a sudden, because the world has gone forth, they began to have a scuffle inside the aircraft. No, he said he doesn't want for security reasons, he doesn't want this crowd. They said the crowd will go. He said, no, he doesn't want to cry the crowd. So American ambassador called and said, your life is at stake. They can't be fighting with you, return back. So from the airport, he turned and went back to America. He didn't come to Port Harcourt. The world has gone forth. <laughs> if you see cloud, we couldn't hold the program again the following day because no space. If you see cloud, all the people have to go for the 50 cent. Careful. <laughs> My mentor shared a story. He said they were at the whole crusade in Kaduna and they said Bangida was coming. The same time when he was president. <laughs> He said, Bangida will not come. They said, what are you talking? So they prepared the stadium. They said, you will not hold this crusade. The president is coming. And he said, listen, Bangida will not come. They looked at him. They said, what are you talking about, you church man? He said, Bangida will not come. By the evening, Bangida will not come. So the security men were now for the crusade. <laughs> but if he never opened his mouth, God would have confirmed it. Bishop, blessed memory. They were to hold a witch council in Nigeria. The whole world witch, witches were to meet in Nigeria. <laughs> and Bishop said, listen, that meeting can't hold here. This meeting will not hold. And it never held. You know your problem? You are too quiet. You are too what? If I can't talk and it not can't happen, talk first. <laughs> Have you talked? <laughs> listen, you see this boldness came from Archbishop Benson de Daosa. A transfer to Edipo, transfer to me. Physical, I'm gentle, but when I come the other way, you see the other side. I did something which no mortal man I've ever told. When I Bishop Benson, that was, I came to Winners Chapel, Rajoba. Today is the day I was shy. And he was moving with Edipo. So I put my leg in their steps. As I Bishop stepped, I followed that because of my position, I was officiating. So I said, God, whatever makes this man bold, this one bold, me too, I'll be bold. I put my <laughs> I put my step with their steps. As they match the ground, I put my leg. I said, Lord, anything this man can do. I was not like this before. I used to be afraid before. Me before. I don't want to touch anybody. In fact, if you find me trouble, so I go find my way. I will not find me trouble. You, the one you're seeing, I was not like this. This is the spirit of Archbishop Benson the Dowser. He's upon a report. If you see a report, you see a lion inside him. He's a lion. He took the side of wisdom from Adeboy, gentle. You took the side of boldness from Archbishop Edaosa. So you must balance your Christianity. You see, the boldness of Edipo is from Archbishop Benson Edaosa. Then the wisdom from Adeboe. So you must collect everyone to balance yourself. Yesterday we took wisdom, true? Today we took, we are taking where? Yeah. In this wicked world. This wicked world. This wicked world. Huh. You'll be bold now. I'll give you another minute. You will open your mouth wide. That thing you don't want, you say it. You don't pray to God, though. David did not say, Oh God, kill Goliath. Oh God, kill Goliath. He said, You uncircumcised Philistine. Today I'll bring your head down. And you know there's a God in his. Look at it. He said, This day will the Lord deliver thee into my hand. I will smite thee and take thy head from thee. <laughs> As he was speaking, God was confirming it. You know, he used the sword in him to cut his head. And I'll give the carcass of the host of the Philistines this day with the fowls of the air and to the wild beasts of the earth that all the earth may know there's a God in Israel. Jump, jump to your feet. Jump to your feet. Are you ready? In one minute, you open your mouth wide. Against that, you know where the thing is warning you. You know it. Don't you know it? Now open your mouth and declare in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, in the name of Jesus.
Jesus mighty name you may be seated number four how does the Holy Spirit execute vengeance number four through Holy Ghost fire through what through Holy Ghost fire he executes vengeance through Holy Ghost what fire in John 16 7 8 and 11 he said, when the comforter is come, which has come, unless I tell you the truth, it is expedient for you that I go away. For it, if I go not away, the comforter will not come. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. And when he is come, he will reprove the word of sin, of righteousness, and of what? Judgment. Verse 11. Of righteousness, because the, I go to this world. Uh, of judgment, because the prince of this world is what? Judge. The Holy Spirit comes as fire. As what? It is a two-fold fire. It has two sides. The fire has two sides. First, as a refiner's fire, that refiner is to purify, beautify, glorify, decorate us. The fire beautifies you. It does what? Are you getting up now? Now I'll give you what I mean. You know when the true children are going to the fire, the fire instead of burning them, it purifies them through. It glorifies them. It changed their life. Through after that fire, they were promoted. So the Holy Ghost fire has a way to remove the things that are supposed to destroy you. Is, are you getting what I'm saying now? I'm not understanding me. But the same fire will destroy those who want to destroy you. Oh my God! It says a refiner's fire. It can beautify your destiny. It can make life very fine for you, for the saints. That's Malachi chapter three, one to five. Today, whatever is making your life ugly. The Holy Ghost fire will burn it off. Anything not making life beautiful, the Holy Spirit will remove it. So the Holy Ghost fire. Purify me. Beautify me. Refine me. Decorate me. Make my life very fine. Burn every chaff. Remove every unwanted thing. Out of my life in the name of Jesus. But now, secondly, the same fire is a consuming fire that divorces the wicked and their wickedness. Is that true? In Hebrews chapter 12, verse 29, it says, For our God is a consuming fire. Our God is not was a consuming fire. So here. Hey, my bubo kotaria. In Daniel chapter 3, 26, 27. In, remember the two Shadrach, Mishra, Ben, going to the fire. Are you aware of that? Did the fire burn them? Did the fire burn them? No. But do you know that same fire killed those who threw them? In verse 22. Hey. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent and the furnace exceeding hot. The flames of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The fire of the wicked consumed the wicked. Do you understand that? So Holy Ghost fire. fire. Consume every wickedness against my life. The wicked against me. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost consume them. Now, life story. Long ago, I used to lay hands on people at the beginning of the year. I don't do it again because you can't try it now. If you try it now, you will die. I've laid hands in this church to 10,000 people like this. Over 10,000. So, as I was laying hands, a small boy was walking. And Hugo said to me, this boy is not a normal boy. I just heard him say, watch this boy. What they did, life story, the occult world, they invoked things and put on him. That when I lay hands on him, something should happen. So his grandmother, a nurse, she was among the court. She was a witch. So the group said, put everything on this boy. So when he enters, nobody will suspect him. But as he was coming, the one was saying, this boy is a strange boy. So when he got close, as I tried to lay my hands, he did like this. I said, come up here. As I lay my hands, he said, I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning. I'm fire. He was lifting his head from the ground. The old members will tell you. He sat on the chair. He lifted. His, he could not put his leg on the ground. God said to me, "Take him out, otherwise he will die in the church." So when they took him out, he now began to confess. 
He said, we belong to a group, but they cannot come, so they say, me, small boy, should come. But when pastor laid hands on me, fire born, began to burn me. He said, my grandmother is the one behind it. Now, if that kind of nurse attend to you in the hospital, you are dead. That's why he says some women will go to deliver. They say, we don't know complication, 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 complication. One devil is in this headquarters of the delivery. They say, well, doctor will just say, we don't know what's happening. This woman was okay, but the one is bleeding. It's those kind of women. And she was a top nurse. Not just small, all this is a two by four now we are doing. Top nurse. You know, this everybody's a nurse. You know, it's the quickest way to get, make money, especially in the Western part, everybody. Some who don't, who don't, cannot stand blood are nurses. Some who don't even have flair for human feelings, they're nurses. Now, it was the easiest way to make money. In fact, if you're looking for a job, just be a nurse. Everybody's a nurse now in the Western world, everybody. So we read chemistry. So we read economics and nurses. People <laughs> 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 who read economics are what? Econom- I can read economics and be a nurse. It's the easiest way to make, to get a job. That's by the way. The fire that came to consume Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego ended up consuming their what? So that thing that was meant to destroy me. <laughs> we destroy those <laughs> who planned it against me. <laughs> Say it a minute. Shell and Mexico entered the fire. They came up. You know, they ended up as rulers. I hope you know. They ended up as what? What was meant to destroy you will end up lifting you. Yeah. That if they plan against you and I, we end up as testimony. Yeah. If you believe it, say amen. amen. Recognize that the Holy Ghost is the spirit of judgment. Whatever is standing against your destiny, I decree them consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. One day, a man called Elijah, <laughs> Second Kings chapter one, nine to twelve. Very soon, we no go to we we'll go to practicals. They sent men. Just saw some people they insult us. They say, "Are you a man of God?" <laughs> I've heard people say so. Then the king sent unto him a captain of fifty with his fifty. And he went up to him, and behold, he sat on the top of a hill, and he spoke unto him, Thou man of God, the king has said, Come down. See the insult. Come what? And Elijah answered and said to the captain of 50, If I be a man of God, then let fire come down from heaven, and consume thee and thy 50. And there came down fire from heaven, and consuming him and his 50. The same fire will fall right now. Again. Also he sent unto him another 50, captain of 50. With his 50. Did you hear that? And he also said unto him. Oh man of God. Thus had the king said. Come down quickly. You know some people they don't hear something. Then Elijah answered. And said unto them. If I be a man of God, let fire come down from heaven and consume thee and thy fifty. And the fire of God came down from heaven and consumed him and his fifty. If you go for that, the third one begged. <laughs> fire go fall today. <laughs> but Elijah did something. He prayed in faith. He prayed fervently. He prayed expectantly. He prayed violently, provoked the fire of the Holy Ghost. He fasted and prayed. He was not a gluton. Elijah prayed. We had a cathedral is being built by God. Some group of people passed a decree and said, Bring the fence down. They went with a truckload of military men. No war, no trouble brought our fence down. And they told me fence has been brought down. And I got to the fence and I picked the broken block, uh, blocks. And I said the same way they broke these blocks on a Thursday night after service. I said who gave the order and who carried out the order they broken to pieces. I dropped it. I prayed that prayer Thursday, Friday night. The one who issued the order that they should bring down the fence was going to a nightclub. 
came out of his car, motor hit him, he died on the spot. Then the one who told the military men to go and do it, slept and never woke up. By Sunday to Monday, an organization, everyone was calm. People became afraid. He think as we are building that people are happy, is a lie. But you can't go there. Whether you're happy or not. It's a no-go area. You are going to evoke the fire of the Holy Ghost. Are you hearing me? Yes. Elijah did not play. This is not the prayer point. So I have five prayer points that you pray with before anointed. Those ones are different. This one, you evoke the fire of the Holy Ghost. Are you not a child of God? Fire. Fall now. Consume everybody who is talented the God I serve. He said, if you be a man of God, come down. He said, you mean you are challenging the God who called me? One day we are coming from the airport and a pastor, the young girl looked at me and said, nonsense, all these pastors. I turned and said, you will not be here next week. It's a sad story. Two young men came to me in the office long ago when we just read this mystery and hit their hand on the table. They said, we'll lock you up by tomorrow. As a step that says, Save God, you did not call me. Two of them do not see you the next day. Please, this kind of pray, don't pray them like, Father, Father, Father. They say, If I'm a man of God, okay, I'm a man of God, now I'm a man of God, I'm a man of God, I'm a man of God. Fire, if you like, fall, if you don't like, leave. <laughs> My friend, get up, get up. You will call on the fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire what? You say fire of the Holy. You will see a witch tormenting you this night. Saying, "I'm born, no, I'm born, no, I'm born, no, I'm born, no, I'm born, no." You say fire of the Holy Ghost. Consume. Come down. Those kidnappers that pick you, tell fire to consume them now. That they will not see tomorrow. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? You, are you angry? You think Elijah? Or Elijah say, "If I be a man of God, fire come down." Are you a child of God? Go ahead now and call on the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. If I be. Jesus, mighty name, fire of the Holy Ghost has fallen, we consume every evil after our lives, after this church, after all that concerns us, in the name of Jesus. Whoever is challenging the God you and I serve, do you know when someone is in our call to one and say, I will see that your God is challenging the God you serve? It's if you are a child of God, nonsense, get lost. You don't keep quiet. Today, Fire will burn them. Amen. Holy Ghost fire will burn them. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We are now going to prayers. As we are praying, I don't want to forget because the Holy Ghost spoke to me immediately. Tomorrow there's leaders meeting at 5 p.m. 
They said to me, impartation for the leaders. All leaders have impacted with the same option I carry. He said, impact this spirit you carry upon the leaders so that you can't do it alone. All cell leaders, all home cell hosts, everyone with a service group, you continue to fast tomorrow. You don't break your fast. Are you going to sit down? So that you'll be impacted. God told me impact. I don't want to forget it. He said to me now, so I don't forget. They have impartation for you. You will carry this same grace I carry. For leaders, not for the church members. So for those who are in service groups. Amen. There will be short impartation. Unction. So you fast. Don't break your own fast. Because you don't, you don't play with what you need. You pay a price. You pay what? A price. Prayer point one. You are going to call on the God of vengeance to show, it's all God of vengeance, show yourself on my word. Yeah. Psalm 94 verse 1. Oh Lord God, to whom vengeance belongeth. Oh God, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. You are going to say, oh God of vengeance, show yourself on my, show yourself on my behalf. Oh God of vengeance, show what? We take five prayer points. Show yourself on my behalf. Show yourself now. Are you ready to pray? Go ahead in the name of Jesus. Oh God of heaven. Jesus, mighty name. Second prayer point in Isaiah chapter 59, 19, the deep path. It was when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Ask the Holy Spirit to lift up a standard against all weapons of hell. Target it against your life, health, marriage, and your desired miracle. Whatever hell has prepared against your destiny. Look at the screen. Say, Holy Ghost, lift up what? A standard against Everything. Are you hearing me now? Are you getting what I'm talking about? Don't play with your life. Holy Ghost, lift up what? What? Whatever I want to attack my health, my marriage. Now listen. If you have ever worked hard, have you ever worked hard? Find out what work is. Listen. If you have ever, that's why you see me. I don't like occultism. Occultic men. This is what they do. They will take a candle represent a woman. A candle represent a man. They will write the husband's name at the back, the wife at the back, put the two candles, take broom, make enchantments, and flog the broom like this. Husband and wife, the house, no problem, we start quarreling. They will start what? They just see a man say, No, no, it's the demonic attack. It's a common practice in the occult world. He say, Holy Ghost, lift up what? Against your business, somebody will just take your name, put your business in a snap bottle, and look up and begin to chant against your business. Then business will begin to go into loss. You see your business that you were flourishing all of a sudden. You took snap, you do what? Dry gin. Make incantations at the poor. And you're, they'll put the, the, the name of the business inside the bottle. You say, lift up a standard against whatever you. Want, look, at, look at the screen. Look at the prayer points. There's no point telling you, you know. Ask the Holy Spirit to lift up what? Against all weapons of hell. Take it against your life, health, marriage, and anything you desire. Even your academics, go ahead in the name of Jesus. Against 
my life, against my destiny, against our family sins. Jesus mighty name. Prayer point three. As a for our God is a consuming fire. Hebrews 12 to 9. And where we read in 2 Kings 1 10. Elijah answered and said to the captain of 50. If I be a man of God then let fire come down from heaven and consume thee and thy 50. And there came down fire from heaven and consumed him and his 50. Decree that the fire of the Holy Ghost should consume all the agents of Satan. Planning evil against you and your loved ones. Are you that clear? Any evil, let fire come down, consume them now. Go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus. salvation is in our lives in the name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name prayer point four in Job 20 27 he said the heaven shall reveal his iniquity and the earth shall rise up against him Proverbs 26 27 whoso decayed a peace shall fall into the arena and he that rolleth a stone it will return unto him Pray that the Holy Spirit will expose and judge anyone living or walking with you that has evil intentions against you. Nobody can be betrayed except an insider that's involved. In case anybody's walking with you, before the person carry out the art, let the person be exposed. Help us reveal his liquid. The prayer point is on the screen. Follow the prayer point and pray for yourself in the name of Jesus. after our lives the name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name the prayer point the last prayer point for this section in Job 34 29 when they give it quietness who can make trouble 
Pray that the Holy Spirit will give you and your loved ones all round victory in all aspects of your lives. Give us all round what? When it gives quietness, nobody's permitted to make trouble. Holy Spirit, give me absolute what? Peace. Anyone wants to make trouble, let the trouble follow them. Go ahead and pray for yourself in the name of Jesus. victory as a church in the name of Jesus Christ how many believe God has heard their prayers do you believe it tell God thank you if you believe it Lord thank you for answering me thank you father in Jesus mighty name bring out your oils You shout hallelujah. After David was anointed in the first Samuel 13, 16, verse 13, he said the Spirit of God came upon him from that day forward. That oil in your hands become a carrier of the presence of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. It ceases to be an ordinary oil. Yeah. It becomes an instrument in your hand Amen. potent for manifestation Amen. on the air to the name of Jesus. He says, It shall come to pass in that day, as they have to the seven, that his body shall be taken away from off thy shoulder, and his yoke from off thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. After this anointing in the name of Jesus, every yoke shall be destroyed. Amen. The yoke of sickness, yoke of failure, Amen. yoke of delay. Amen. Yoke of barrenness, Amen. yoke of disappointment, Amen. anything yoke shall be destroyed. Amen. The yoke of near success syndrome, Amen. in the name of Jesus, Amen. the yoke of delay, Amen. they shall be broken, Amen. they shall be destroyed. Amen. Even the yoke of poverty shall be destroyed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And everything that gives you concern, gives us concern, shall be removed. He said, The body shall be taken away. Whatever is a burden that you sit like this and then you begin to worry, that burden is removed in the name of Jesus. Amen. For those who are sick, when I'm done, take a shot. He says, Any sick among you, let it call for the other to and the prayer of faith shall save the sick. Now, in the name of anybody sick amongst us, Immediately this oil touches your head. You are healed in the name of Jesus. He said the prayer of faith which I pray now shall save the sick. This moment, nobody called sick remains sick in the name of Jesus. In Matthew 3, 11 and 12. <laughs> Jesus speaking. John, so John speaking, said, I did baptize you with water unto the petals, but he that cometh after me is mighty than high. Whose shoes I'm not worthy to bear? He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with what? Fire. Whose fan in his hand? And he will surely pour his floor and gather his wheel to his ganner, but he will burn the chaff with unquenchable fire. This is the Holy Ghost fire. If you want to sweep, you want to vacuum clean, you go inside and you vacuum. Whatever is inside your body, buying and selling, as this Holy Ghost goes inside, it will sweep that evil out. That cancer will be born now. Amen. HIV will be born now. Amen. Now listen. There's a young man. Anytime I see him officiating, my heart touches. 
He's in his 40s. He came to me and said, sir, do you know why I'm not married? HIV. HIV. So the delay, you see, that's not normal. He has been delayed to marry. Have a good job, but can't marry. Now, today, everyone with any kind of disease, including diabetes and HIV, in the name of Jesus, I command that this oil goes inside you, it will flush it out. It will sweep it off. It will burn that evil in the name of Jesus. It will burn it with the Holy Ghost fire. Every HIV shall turn negative. Sickle cell will turn from SS to A. Diabetes will be healed. Cancer will be born. And blind eyes will be opened. In the name of Jesus. There's no one at the need of my voice that will remain sick after now in the name of Jesus. The Holy Ghost will sweep that evil out. In case one time is inside you, that casts a spell on you, I decree as it goes inside that spell will be chased out of the name of Jesus. In case you took poison, you took one thing by poison, in the name of Jesus, it will chase it out. Nobody's health will be down after night in the name of Jesus. In Zechariah chapter 2, verse 5, it shall be unto us a wall of fire. As this oil and be the glory in the midst of fire. Two things. When it's on fire, he will put a glory on you. He will protect you and glorify you. He will do what? Protect you. And what? Glorify you. You can't go somewhere they say get out after now. As the Holy Ghost fire comes into this anointing, I declare Please, it shall be to you a wall of fire. He will put his glory on you in the name of Jesus. Maribri, listen. I have in-depth revelation of glory. So much revelation. Even without the oil, you have seen it demonstrated. Now with oil. Now listen. I want two persons to come. Two, just two persons. Two. Two persons. For the pastor. Okay, come. Bishop, come. Now listen. Bishop, these two of them are men of God. They're better. Now, look at Bishop's face. Just look at his face. Look at his face again. Nothing happened. This is what the anointing does. This is what the anointing does. It says, it shall be unto you what? The oil of fire. And his glory in the mist. So when the oil touches the head, now a new glory comes upon you. Put your eyes on this oil. Just put your eyes. Something will happen to you. Before this oil, nothing happened through. Now as the oil comes upon you, so you can go back. As the oil comes upon you, glory comes upon you. Places you enter before they say get out. You go to embassy, they tell you get out. After the anointing this moment, a glory will rest on you in the name of Jesus. I'm sure there will be something Bishop is looking for <laughs> from yesterday and today. <laughs> As you anointed this hour, Everything that is a blanket of your destiny shall be burnt off. <laughs> Whatever covered you will be destroyed. <laughs> Glory will come on you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> now listen, I hear God as a man yesterday. When you leave this service, go and anoint your churches. Anoint your business, anoint your house. The house shop, glory will come upon the shop. Anoint every of our churches, anoint cross the gate, anoint the places. Like that, anoint your houses as you leave this service, do it. The glory of God will rest upon whatever you anoint in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Carry your complimentary card, anoint it. Touch your passport, glory. You don't need to stay in the passport, just small on the passport. Anyway, kind of passport, glory will be on it. They can't tell you no to any embassy. As you anointed this day, I decree glory to rest on you. If you believe it, say amen like a believer. It's as they went from one nation to another. From one kingdom to another. Psalm 105, 13 to 15. He allowed no man to do wrong. He proved Christ for that. He said, touch not my anointed. And do my prophets no harm. From this day we are touched not to evil. Said me no devil. Is permitted. To touch me. No arm robber. Begin to mention this, don't want to touch you. No assassin. 
no hired killers, no sickness, no failure, no dead is permitted to touch me. Open your mouth, begin to declare. Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. No dead, no sickness, no failure, nothing called evil is permitted to touch me from today. I am touched not to all sickness, dead, failure, arm robbers, as I say, witches, wizards. I am touched not. I am touched not. I am touching off in the name of Jesus. Finally, Ephesians 1 13. It says, You are sealed. The word seal means wrapped. It said, You were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. The, the, the seal means you are wrapped. After this anointing, the Holy Ghost will be a seal over your life. That means whatever can touch him can touch you. You know when you see something, they can't see it again. So you stand like this. Arm robbers can't see you. Are you hearing me? You stand like this. Kidnappers can't see you. Because of what you are sealed. You drive past. You'll be seeing them, but they won't see you. Am I talking to you? May the seal of the Holy Ghost come upon everyone who says amen. Not one of us will be a victim of evil. Amen. When we anoint our children, our houses is a no-go area. Amen. Everything we anoint, evil shall never come near it. Amen. If you believe it, say amen like a believer. Amen. Shout the amen with faith. Tell me, I believe, I believe. in the efficacy the of the anointing oil, the power of the Holy Ghost, upon this oil become effective as I'm anointed from this moment. Anything I anoint, including myself, all the words declared plus the ones I will declare will come to pass right now in the name of Jesus. Now with faith in your heart, anoint yourself and begin to pray for yourself in the name of Jesus. The seal of the Holy Ghost upon me. Jesus mighty name 
you are touched out from today. Yes. Well, for those who want a total health, take a shot, and that will be a toast for total health. Just do it and now you're free. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. What a night. Hallelujah. When you get home, anoint your children. Anoint your what? Anoint your children. Anoint your houses. Are you getting me, sir? And every church, anoint the churches. All our pastors, part-time, full-time. In fact, anoint the places. Are you getting me, sir? Anoint your gates. Anoint everywhere. It's a touch, not no go area to the devil. And you see the glory of God revealed. Finally, it's a night. We are going to praise God. In Psalm 149, 6 to 9, let the high praises, high, high praise is not conventional praise, high. When you say high, it means you pray like a man who is drunk. Let the high praise of God be in their mouth. And they do a sudden hand. In case you didn't pray well, praise will do it. To execute vengeance, praise execute what? You know the story of Judah and Jeshua. With the, the tribes that came after Judah. Is that true? You know Paul and Silas with praise. To execute vengeance upon the hidden, punishments upon the people. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles feathers of iron. To execute upon them the judgment, all the things we have quoted. God fulfilled them through, through praise. This one of all the saints praising the Lord. Are you ready to praise God? You are going to dance and say, Lord, if there be anything remaining, clear it. Fight my battles. The year 2024 should be wonderful. Beyond this year, wonderful. Clear the way. Fight anything that wants to fight me. Whatever wants to bring me down, bring it down. Anything that will be applied in secret to attack me. I don't want to hear kidnappers pick you. You pray, pray, pray. No, no, no. Before they pick you, they should die. Not that they pick you. No, no. That error should pass. That error should what? Now, as they are thinking of picking me, just thinking. Just what? Just thinking. They go mad. If they are sent in many, are you ready? I mean, I'm ready. Solid seven minutes as I'm led. You are going to go down, you go up. You go down, you go up. You rock. You move down. Fight my battles. Are we ready? Let's go. All churches, seven minutes. Heavy weight praise. Let's go. Almighty God, all powerful God, Almighty God, all powerful God, you are worthy to receive all our praises. You reign forevermore. Sing, Almighty God, powerful that is, mighty Jehovah, powerful. You are worthy.
Praise it, Lord, by this praise. Anything remaining that I don't know about, fight my battles. Go ahead and begin to declare.
and Jesus. Mighty name. Please listen to what I'm about to read and then you will shout after I read. In 2 Chronicles chapter 13, 13 to 15, but Jeroboam caused an ambushment to come about behind them so they were before Judah and the ambushment was behind them, front and back. And when Judah looked back, behold, the battle was before and behind. And he cried unto the Lord and the priest sounded with the, with the trumpets. Then the men of Judah gave a shout. Take note. They gave what? And as the men of Judah shouted, came to pass that God smote Jeroboam and all Israel before Abijah and Judah. You are going to give a shout. A what? A shout, a shout of hallelujah. When you shout it, you say, Lord, if there be anything front and back remaining, clear it. The shout, hallelujah is a heavenly language. Universal language. You will shout hallelujah with understanding. And then as you give that shout, you see victory will come from everywhere. Now in the name of the go ahead, in the name of Jesus. one of us victory. Amen. Jesus mighty name. Amen. Please. I like when I hear God. I don't delay because sometimes you get home you forget. Carry the oil our pastors. Go and anoint our children in Okma. All our children. Put in on this school. Anoint all of them. If you're owner of school anoint your children with the same oil. You will not lose one. Amen. You can see now? Anoint all of them. Tomorrow morning go to the two schools. Anoint every child. No evil will come near them. Amen. Anoint your cars. As you carry the oil, just touch the bonnet of your car. Are you going to say now? Anoint your, as you enter the gate, anoint your house. The same oil. The same things you have spoken will work there. Amen. Cross your gate. Cross the church. That man does not be born will cross that gate. Amen. Life story. When this church was not at this level, a young, notorious, some notorious young man came to enter this compound. As they were climbing, the, the, fence, the gate was small. Physically, we're not saying spiritually, the young man scrolled to talk. That was not physical. No barbed wire, no electric pole. As he was trying to climb with the gun, they scrolled to talk. He fell down in the pool of blood. You should know there's an invisible force. As he was trying to climb the gate to enter, the gate then was shut. Cross your gate. That arm robber has not been born. That terrorist has not been born. Now cross that gate. Anoint the gate and declare everything happened. What declare that to walk? Cross the gate. Touch your doors. Anoint your children. If they're in school, write their names. Anoint their heads. If they are in body house, anoint them. Are you going to say now? That this grace covers all of them. Pray for your children always. Evil will be far from them. In the name of Jesus. Did God do anything for you? You sure? Then thank him one more time. But hear this. To get all these blessings and not to get connected to the blesser is the most dangerous thing you can do. The blesser is Jesus. Don't just carry these blessings. Look for the blesser. Don't just say, thank God I'll protect Look for the one who protects. His name is Jesus. You must be born again. Accepting the blessing without getting the blessing into your life is a waste. You must accept the blesser to enjoy the blessing. 
You must accept the one who protects to enjoy the protection. The giver of life must be accepted to enjoy life. His name is Jesus. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father said, by me. You must be born again. So that you don't just get excited by dancing and pouring all on you and nothing happens. In case you have also gone astray, you were in church, but somehow you went somewhere that they gave you some small things, they dedicate your life. But those things can affect the prayers of today. Your mother gave you something to turn your waist, something to put on your tongue. They gave you something that you blew as powder in the shop. You dedicate your life. You don't need all that to be prosperous. God is enough. Give your life to Jesus. Or you backslided, return back like the prodigal son so you can be restored. Everyone will say, Jesus, I want to return back fully to you. So repeat these prayers after me. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I've come to you. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you died and rose from there to save me. With my mouth, I declare you. Thank you, Father, for saving me in Jesus' mighty name. If you offer that prayers in any of the churches, don't sit with others. Keep standing while others take their seats. Please attend to those who are standing. If you're online, you gave your life to Jesus, let us know you gave your life to Jesus online. If today is your very first day to worship with us, could you also stand? We want to welcome you. <laughs> Kindly stand. We want to welcome you. Kindly stand. We want to welcome you. Every first time I stand, I want to pray for you, Lord. Everyone who has come today as a first timer, I decree their life never to remain the same. Amen. Between now and they are coming on Sunday, give them testimonies. Amen. The Lord will pluck you and brought you, will never allow you to fall. Amen. In the name of Jesus, you have testimonies and your life will turn. To the they tell them we celebrate you, we love you. Please fill their forms and so preservator, those in the so preservator squad, make sure you take care of those ones, attend to them and get back to them. We are going to bless the communion so that we can take offering and close. Are you blessed today? Yes, Don't get tired of rising. I'll be standing here. Get up. We are going to take the last card. You are going to take what? Yes, After they partook of the flesh and blood, they crossed out of Egypt currently. Is that true? The Passover was that day. Everyone that partook of the flesh, not one person was destroyed. They were not feeble, they were not sick. You take off his flesh and blood, the New Testament flesh and blood of Jesus, you say, no sickness, no dead. Is that true, sir? Who so eat my flesh and took my blood, have what? Eternal life. John 6, 54. Lord, as I bear upon me the mark right now, let no man trouble me. Every mark of Egypt will be destroyed. This is the last card, the blood. They overcame Saddam with the same blood. Today, with the blood of Jesus up inside me and on me, marks the end of every evil in my life. With so much faith and understanding, stretch your hands towards the communion, pray in the name of Jesus. As I partake of your flesh and blood, eternal life, John 6, 54, not 53, eternal life, flow in me. Eternal life flows in me. Destroying human life. The life of God. Flows on my inside in the name of Jesus. Jesus, your life flows in me. No sickness, no death, no pain. Thank you, Lord. As you partake of his flesh and blood, be made perfectly whole. Amen. Eternal life swallow up every human life. Amen. Every sickness. Just like Moses and Aaron's serpent swallowed up the serpent of Pharaoh, everything eating you up will be swallowed up. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. as the blood touches your head, you are touched not. Amen. Every evil shall pass over. Amen. If there have anything that has held you captive that have resisted, the blood is the last card. Amen. After the blood, Satan left heaven. After the blood, they left Egypt. Today, by the blood of Jesus, you be lose the name of Jesus. Amen. You will never be held captive. You cross the uncrossable. Amen. You get into your Canaan. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Give thanks to God. Hallelujah. 
what a night. A night that can only be likened like the night of the glory reign. To God be all the glory. Now it's offering time. The Bible speaking in Zechariah chapter 8 verse 12a. The Bible said the seed shall be prosperous. Please know this. Continued and unwavering commitment to sowing your seed and sacrifices guarantees the wonders of his manifestation because the seed shall be prosperous. In my hand right now is a little but mighty book written by our father. The title is Commanding Breakthroughs. Right at the back is written, you can command breakthroughs. It is possible. Permit me to add, even in times like this, in nations of the world, Papa said, you need to take action and be consistent in your action, like laying a sacrifice. Tonight, every evil is cleared. All we need is the wisdom of heaven to lay appropriate sacrifices for those issues of concern, technical approach, so in a manner that cannot fail to bring your harvest. Knowing you are set to do that, package your seed and prepare to package the seed. A time like this, you must not let the moment pass. Now believing you are packaging your seed, maybe the glory and sacrifice in part or in full, as grace is available to you, do it now. Speak to your seed. Speak to your tithe. Speak to your offerings. Speak to that prophet seed in your hand. Thank you, Father. Lord, we ask that you grant the desires of everyone's heart according to the grace released in the name of Jesus Christ. Take all the glory, Lord, in Jesus' name. Choir, please. Take this closing information. 
April week of spiritual empowerment will be 9th to 11th. The theme is wisdom for greater exploits. Wisdom for what? Not just exploits, greater exploits. That's the theme. And April happens to be a special month. April 13th will be our anniversary. Says the entire week is loaded. 9th to 11th. Then 13th happens to be Saturday. We thank God for keeping us. We'll be 27 in April. And God has helped us for these 27 years. Is that through? Tomorrow, you already heard leaders will have special meeting at 5 p.m. It's once in a month. So don't break your fast, leaders. Are you hearing me now? So that you can be imparted. The God who told me, Pack the same grace on them, so prepare your heart and come. Don't be careless when God gives instruction. From the headquarters, we transmitted to the satellite churches. At the headquarters, they have a wedding on Saturday at 10 a.m. Join them to celebrate. Sunday is special miracle service. Sunday is special what? It's a worship and praise miracle service. Invite all your friends. Remember the vision operation one week? One soul and bring them to church. Operation one week, one soul. You must win minimum of 52 souls in the year 2024. So make sure you get your own soul this Sunday. Come with your soul and God will bless you. All the men of God who have been a part, God bless all of you. I want to say thank you to all of you for making our time to be a part of this meeting. You go back to your different churches, it will show. You had that pastor testified. He went back. There was a replication of grace. So it will happen. Whatever you love, it's easy to get it. I love what God do in the life of my mentor. You see it with ease, I get it. Anything you are receptive about will never come to you. Never castigate a rich man. Otherwise, you will remain poor. I don't like all these men who have money. You will remain a poor man. Because since you don't like them, God will not give what you don't like. I hate all these men because they have money. They just carry car. They make noise up and down. You will never drive a car. You drive a bicycle. You ride a bicycle. Look, I love these men who have cars. I don't want them to go. My own is coming. God will give you. Is that true? Yes. But oh, I hate all of them. See the way they behave. Mm-hmm. Because they drive big cars. They're a poor person water. No. Now bicycle will go drive till you die. But I love what God is doing. You may be trekking. The boy say love. Because you love it, take it. Anything you love, you attract. I love crowd. I hate smallness. So when I go to Shiloh, I see crowd. You see people, you see cloud. You see sea of hairs like water. And it's happening. Is that true? I love cloud. There's no way at Deboye we talk cloud gather. Cloud gather. Now, the same thing. But if I say, mm-hmm. all this old man, I saw them with the cloud. <laughs> I would never have it. From my heart, I rejoice. From my heart, I thank God. Is it happening? Yes, we thank God because do you know the tent is flow? Midweek service. This is a midweek. Everywhere is jammed with people. It's not me. It's not you. It is God. Rise to your feet. Can we, from the depth of our heart, tell God what? Yes. For making these three days a huge success. We are not taking it for granted. We never brought anybody. He brought everybody. We never did anything. He did all. There's no miracle here. You say, I did. It is him that did it all. To him, we give all the glory. From your heart, if you want to kneel down, kneel down. You want to sit, you sit. But make sure the thanksgiving is not from your lips. Nobody goes. Where we are doing vengeance, nobody left. It's not when we want to thank God. That would be the highest disrespect to God. Don't move. Don't tell me you're rushing. Rushing is a sign of poverty. And we are prayed for you to be rich. So don't rush. Because if you have a car, you won't be rushing. No evil can befall you with these prayers. Are you going to say now? Shall we from our heart tell God, thank you. Lift your voices and tell God, thank you. Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for all that you've done. From the depth of our heart, we are saying to you, thank you. Thank you and thank you and thank you. Thank you and thank you. We are grateful to you. We ascribe every glory back to you. We did nothing, you did it all. We give you back the glory. We give you back the honor. We give you back all adoration. We thank you. We thank you. We are grateful to you. We appreciate you. From our hearts we say thank you. 
Thank you, Father. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. Take all the praise. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Lord, accept our thanks. In Jesus' name. Amen. Sunday, don't play. Everybody must come with a on Sunday. Get buses, get things, carry people to come on Sunday. Sunday is a medical service, so you're already swimming in miracles. Expect great things to happen on Sunday. And Jesus will be glorified. Keep praying for God's servants are through. And God use me mightily on Sunday for his own glory. Are you blessed today? It's as if we should not close. It's as if we're in glory reign. Amen. This is the first edition. It's like this. Just imagine next month it will be like. Glory to God. You will keep dancing. Amen. You will keep rejoicing. Amen. There will be no regrets. Amen. There will be no setback. Amen. You know what? Carry this oil to your home. Don't be jumping to back. Go home. Anoint your houses. Don't carry this kind of anointing and be moving pium, pium, pium up and down. Go home. Anoint your doors. Anoint your houses. Bless the environment. Are you going to say now? Leave those houses to heaven. Everything declared today is already working your life. Yeah. Whatever we have spoken, you have prayed about will not be delayed to be fulfilled. Yeah. All your businesses, churches, career, students, everyone will partake of this grace. Yeah. Our children, home and abroad, the same grace. Yeah. Everyone genuinely connected, even watching on the message on, on tape, on social media, you will be blessed. Yeah. Go in peace. Amen. Keep riding high. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The grace together, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet love of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. God bless you. See you on Sunday.